morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. It's good to be here, and it's good to have all of y'all watching. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much, and I am just so anxious to get to 20,000 subscribers that I'm on my way, thanks to you. I try to have a different variety of stuff. I mostly cook, y'all know that. But I had told you in the uh, Sheen shopping hall that what we do with those clear plastic bags, tote bags, and that I would show you what I have in mind that we keep in the car so that when we need something, we can just reach back there and get the bag and get it out. So I'm going to tilt the camera down and uh, sit here at the table and show you what's in my um, emergency bag or whatever you want to call it that I keep in the car. It might give you an idea to fix you something and uh, have it with you. So let's get it all set up and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to see how this works because I haven't sat down and done a video like this before. So I'm just going to, um, this bag is a tad bigger than what I would like to have, but they're hard to find. So I have room to add some more stuff. So I'm just going to reach in one at a time, show you what I've got. This is... Um, the things like they have at the hospital that you can bathe with. You never know when your hands are going to get filthy and dirty or your something happens and you need something to wipe your, in the, while you're traveling or just to the store and back. So I've got those body wipes. I've got clackers, which is the things to clean your floss your teeth with. I have a little packet here that has tweezers, a uh, fingernail file, and all of that in it. This is to hold contact lens. I do wear contacts and sometimes you forget to have it with you. Earplugs in case of loud noises. This is um, another, I've got a second little thing with fingernail clippers and all in it. Didn't realize I already had one. Our church always gives the mothers something at Mother's Day. And uh, last Mother's Day we all got a little sewing kit. And so, of course, my sewing room is well stocked, so I carry this in, in here in case I need to sew a button on or whatever I might need to do. I've got a sewing kit. Breath spray. Now, a lot of this April had in here for Christmas. She fixed me a bag like hers for Christmas. This is a little uh, screwdriver that has little tips that you put in it in case you need to work on something. This I put in here, it is uh, reading glasses. In case the ones in my purse break, I'll have my cheaters with me. Mentholatum. This is just little uh, hand wipes like, I don't know, that you throw away. Not the, They're not for the body, it's just damp. This is some honey. in case I need to sweeten something. This is a tourniquet like welders use under... Well, I don't know if that's from the welders or if this is actually something they use to draw blood. But if you get cut or something and you need to, uh, you know, stop the bleeding, I've got that with me. I have a little notepad. I have liquid skin that you put on a cut till you can get to ER or whatever. It'll seal it off. Close pin in case I need to hang a flag up to tell people, hey, I need help. Toothpaste. This is dry shampoo. Well, I didn't know April had me a little manicure set in there, so now I've got three. I'll take some of that out. This is a little first aid kit that she bought somewhere, and it's got triple antibiotic cream in it. It's got... Um, Purell disinfectant. It's got some gauze, some band-aids. It's got just about what you would need if you had a cut or something, so I'll probably duplicate that with some of my stuff. I have Lysol disinfectant wipes. Some Kleenex tissues. This is little bitty disposable toothbrushes. This is a rain poncho in case you break down and it's raining and you got to get out of your car and you don't want to get sopping wet. 
This is an assortment of essential oils that I put in here. And I will tell y'all what I've got. I have all kinds of assortments of essential oils. This is Panaway. That's for pain. Um, I guess I need my glasses on. Digize. That's for stomach issues. This one is Stress Away. Thieves. That's for disinfectants. Lavender. Peppermint. And frankincense. That's just a few of them. I have a little big old packet with essential oils that I can carry with me. Here's some hand cream, aquaphor, little samples, a little flashlight, you never know, a Tide pin for when you get something on you that you need to take off right quick, Q-tips and cotton balls, hairspray, a measuring tape. This is another toothbrush and toothpaste that April had in there in my Christmas packet. This is um, antibacterial wipes and I've just got them clipped together with this clip. She had the Q-tips in there and the Christmas one and then I fixed this one with uh, some cotton balls also. This is the little um, brush toothpicks to get between your teeth and get stuff out if you need to. I don't know what that's in there for. I got me some trash in here for Christmas. Scissors. Never know when you're going to need scissors on the road. This is a little um, bottle. Let's see what we got in here. I don't even remember. That's like super glue. In case you need to glue something. This is some more of the placards, in which I'll take the big bag out and just use this little traveling one. That was in my bag from Christmas. See, I didn't go through and see, I just added some of my stuff to it. This is a little sewing kit that April got me in the Christmas bag, and I'll leave it in here, but I'm going to keep my bigger one in here because it's got pins and needles and all of that in it. Uh, this is Dove Body Care Cream. So you never know when you're going to need some cream. It has never been opened. I'm not going to take the foil off of it. I'm just going to leave it in there so if I need it. Glove, in case I don't want to get my hand dirty on something, I've got a latex glove, a lint roller, a magnifying glass. You never. Sometimes, like today, I could certainly use that because I can't see without cheaters. This is another set of earplugs in a little bottle that was in my Christmas packet. And I have a... Uh, a lighter in case I need to set a fire, light a torch, or something like that. Now, Summer is here, and I'll be going with her hither and thither doing stuff. I'll probably add to this some suntan lotion, sunscreen, not suntan lotion, sunscreen. So I'll have it if we go somewhere. And say you're on the road in hot summer and the breaks down, and you're one that just, you just cook like a lobster. Well, it's good to have you some sunscreen in there to put on right quick before you have to walk to the station or whatever you might be having to do. So I know that the wheels are turning and you'll be thinking of stuff if you got little kids. Your, uh, what you would put in here might would be a little bit different. You want to have something to occupy them if you break down on the road or if you forget to take something with you from home for them to do. Word search. Of course, little kids can't do word search that good, but, you know, think I'm just giving you some ideas. Map pencils, because they won't melt in the heat. Don't put colors in there. They'll melt in the heat. Map pencils won't. And uh, a little coloring book for them. Things for your kiddos. But uh, that's what's in mine. And it just makes you feel pretty good to know if you've got to put a brush and a comb in there. I hadn't done that yet. And I am going to put a little thing of, like, deodorant. And I always have my cologne in my purse, but I like to wear cologne every day. I like to smell pretty. So, but I don't want that sitting out in the hot sun. There's some things that you don't want out in the heat in your car. But the things that don't matter that you just might accidentally need, 
uh, if you have a dog, you could put you some extra, some of the little bags that you clean up after it when you stop and let it potty. There's just all kinds of ideas of things that you can have in here if you need it. You could put you a little container with some tea bags in it if you wanted to be able to make a cup of hot tea somewhere. Because most places have, they make coffee and sell it, you can get you a cup of hot water. So that's something that you can um, think about, you know, what you put on your list. And if you come up with some things that I don't have in here, I don't have sunshades in here and I need to do that. Because sometimes you get in the car and maybe you've got your shades, but whoever's running around with you don't have their shades. So that's something I am going to put in here is an extra pair of sunglasses. But just think about what you would like to have access to at any time when you're in the car, when you're traveling. This isn't just for a vacation. Sometimes when I just run to Humble, which is just 20 miles, you know, I need, I need to floss my teeth. i got something in my teeth. Oh, I've got one of them in that bag. It's just a just-in-case bag. So I hope y'all have gotten some ideas of something that you can do for yourself with this. And you'll fix you one. And um, just Google clear plastic tote. And you'll get places that you can get the, you can get the bags. They're usually between $5 and $10. Now today, this is spring break. Y'all know I'm subbing. And I'm permanently for the rest of the year, if I can hold up to it, I'm going to sub in ISS, which is interschool suspension. They've done something, they got too many tardies or, you know, little bitty stuff, not anything major. And I have one to five, six, seven, eight kids a day. Most of the time, two or three. But um, it's spring break. So all next week, I know I won't be working, so I've got a whole, I made a list of stuff I want to get done, and I know I won't get it all done. But it sure feels good to check something off of the list. I need to get a fence up to get my chickens where they can't get over into my garden area because I'm not planting my garden until I can fence my chickens off. And it's pretty soon going to be too late to plant a garden. And I'm going to be very sad if I don't get that done. But I do have a list. So I'm going to work on the things I can work on. And um, I'll be planting a little bit of stuff out front where the chickens never go in pots and tomato plants and pepper plants but I wanted to get everything planted in my raised bed so we'll see we'll see if the good Lord sends me some help and if he don't there won't be a garden out back this year but I've got some things that you know on my list I want to do this week so I'm fixing to get up and running and part of it is some things I want to cook so I'll have some videos of that coming up and um, hopefully I can do a little better and have a few more more often but I'm trying to stay in touch with y'all and at least do one a week while I'm working. I'll do my best to do two. But anyhow, hope y'all have enjoyed seeing what I have in my ditty bag. And I hope you fix you a ditty bag and get it in your car where you'll have it if you need it. You know, another thing is good to have is some little snips. Because if you're somewhere and there's a plant that's, you're not stealing. You know, it's there and they don't care if you get you a cutting off of it. If you're a gardener, you can snip you a little cutting off of it, put it in a wet, wet a paper towel or something till you can get home and get it in the dirt or put it in some water to root. They taught us that in the master gardening class. They said, you'll get lots of plants. People won't care. Can I get a little cutting off of that? Well, sure. Get all you want. So that's a way to grow your collection and then you share with others they share with you but those little snips at the Dollar Tree now are probably $1.25, $1.29 but they get them in at gardening season so I have some in my glove box and I'm gonna get me a pair and put in here just in case you know something happens to those because everybody pilfers in the glove box that just happens so anyway I'm gonna get on with my day and get them well I'm fixing to edit this and get it uploaded and hope y'all get it pretty soon and I hope you have a wonderful upcoming week. And I hope I see you a couple of days this next week. The good Lord bless y'all. I'll see you soon.